Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Monday, June the 4th, 2012, and uh, this is a gold, silver, and stock report. Uh, this is the GLD, the gold ETF, of course, down a little bit today, about a tenth of a percent, no big deal. Uh, on Friday, we had a massive gap up, uh, uh, taking out the red line here, the 21-day moving average, and piercing through the 50-day moving average. All of a sudden, these markets are starting to turn around here. Nice big volume on the move today. We are pulling back in a lot lighter volume uh, as uh, expected. Um, uh, so we'll probably fight a little battle here at the 50-day moving average. And we do have this overhead resistance line, which has been in effect since March of this year, uh, which may provide a little bit of uh, uh, overhead uh, uh, resistance as well. Uh, we do have the upper Bollinger Band, too, uh, right there uh, at uh, 158.50, 158.50. So uh, uh, just up ahead here. Uh, so um, uh, gold uh, uh, making a very, very powerful move here. Let's see if we can get some follow through. Uh, of course, we do have more overhead resistance here at these key moving averages. The green dotted line is the 100 day moving average. The black dotted line is the 200. Uh, so um, uh, let's see if we can uh, uh, you know, regroup and, and launch off and, and test these as well. Uh, gold does have powerful moves to the upside when it starts to run. You can see this back here in uh, the first of the year. We had a massive move off this low at 148.27, peaking out at 174, and then a very nasty drop, which is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, turned out to be a nasty leg down. So let's see if this is a true turnaround of the GLD. Of course, uh, we have rallied up to this overhead resistance line and pulled back sharply several times before. So uh, the moment of truth is upon us. Here's a weekly chart of the GLD. And uh, uh, here we can see uh, more clearly this blue line is the 10-week moving average, which of course co corresponds to the 50-day. And you can see that it is providing overhead resistance at this point. Uh, here's last week coming up to it. Closing at the top of the range, uh, nice move there. And then uh, today, Monday, we are sitting right at that line. So uh, like I said, uh, the moment of truth is upon us. If we can rally up above this, uh, we have a little bit more work to do up here. Looking now at the silver ETF, this is the SLV, down about a half a percent today. And we've been uh, putting in a bottom here, it looks like. Uh, kind of a wedge uh, here and uh, finding some uh, overhead resistance here at the 21 day moving average. We do have the 10 day moving average, this gray line here hooking around, now moving positively to the upside. And it looks like we will cross uh, over the 21 day moving average, which will be our first uh, moving average crossover here uh, to the bullish side. So interesting developments happening here, um, a possible bottom here. Uh, uh, forming in silver. Of course, we do have lots of overhead resistance, as in the gold. The 50-day uh, moving average coming in at about 29.43, 29.43, and falling. And we have the 100-day and the 200-day moving averages overhead. And on Friday, we did have a nice uh, volume, uh, up volume move here, and uh, pulling back in a lot lighter volume. So uh, silver and gold uh, starting to look more interesting. Moving on to stocks, now this is the SPY, the S&P 500 ETF down just almost flat. I mean, down five one hundredths of a percent uh, uh, on some heavy volume, but uh, less than yesterday. We had a big, uh, uh, on Friday, we had a big down move on Friday, taking us down here to this black dotted line, the 200 day moving average. Uh, this morning here on Monday, we did pierce it and then recovered to close just above it on a bit lighter volume, but still made a lower low here. So um, uh, stocks uh, continue to fall here. Uh, support at the 200-day moving average uh, is critical. So uh, let's see if we can fight a battle here and hold down in this area. If we break loose, uh, boy, you know our next stop would be uh, this previous low at about 119.51, 119.51. Same story really on the NASDAQ, even though we were up a half a percent. Uh, came down, sliced the 200-day moving average on Friday. Um, and today uh, we uh, uh, had a lower low here and closed right on that line, right on that line. So that is a sign of institutional support trying to hold the NASDAQ at that 200 day line here. Uh, volume was lighter than on Friday, uh, uh, just uh, about average volume here. So trying to fight a battle here at the 200 day moving average, still in a downtrend. Now we look at the New York uh, uh, composite. 
New York Stock Exchange. Uh, we were down tenth of a percent, but a lot uglier of a picture here. We are way down below this 200-day moving average and falling rapidly. Uh, we did rally back up to it uh, 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 several weeks ago here. Uh, we're fighting a battle, getting lots of overhead resistance, and the market's finally had said, I'm, I'm done trying, and uh, now put a new leg in down on some pretty heavy volume here. So uh, the broader New York Stock Exchange composite average looking very weak. And here's the mega cap Dow, same story, losing control of its 200-day moving average, making the lower low today, albeit on lighter volume than on Friday. So uh, stocks uh, still in a nasty downtrend. Where it stops, nobody knows. Uh, all we know is we are still in a downtrend, and um, you know we're uh, you know the Nasdaq, of course, is fighting a battle uh, as well as the S&P 500 here at the 200. But the Dow has given way. I wanted to show you a chart of the gold stocks. Um, even though the stock exchange uh, averages are down had lowered the gold stocks are moving higher they started to move here uh, in mid-may and they are putting in a very very powerful leg up uh, rallying uh, um, about twenty percent a little better than twenty percent up off the bottom on some really really good volume so this is a major move going on in the gold miners uh, you know uh, uh, doing my research, you know, the gold miners can lead the gold into a new rally. So this is something to watch. Uh, it is a great sign that the gold stocks are moving this way for gold prices. So something definitely to keep an eye on. We are in a short-term uptrend in the gold stocks now, gold mining stocks. And uh, now two closes above the 50-day moving average and uh, uh, coming in here at, uh, uh, to challenge the 100-day and the 200-day moving averages. So keep an eye on this. Um, uh, this is a very important development happening uh, in the gold markets. So thanks for listening and good luck trading.